How's it going guys? Dr. Alex St. Pierre here. Today I'm going to be showing you the post squat. This is a drill that I like to do to help to groove for trains and squat pattern. It's also fantastic to help to improve some hip mobility. And for individuals that might be a little bit flexion intolerant and through their trunk, it's a great way to start to introduce some flexion into that uh, area of your body. So to begin, I'm going to get nice and close to in this case, a post, if you're doing this at home, you can use a door frame as well. So, my feet are on my natural squat stance, and I'm going to use the post to pull myself down towards the floor. Now, in this position, at the bottom, my feet are still staying in good contact with the floor. I'm also using the post to pull myself into a nice neutral position through my trunk. So my natural position at the bottom of the squat here might be like this. If I try to maintain that upright posture and I let go of the post, I'm gonna fall right back. But you're really using the post as an assist to help bring you down in that position and get that ideal uh, squat mobility or squat position that we might strive for when you're, uh, when you're at this type of depth. All right, so from here, and then again, I'm gonna use the post to help bring myself up, and again, bring it back down, and again, bring it up, and bring it back down. Very simple. You may have noticed that I don't have a ton of flexion in through my spine. I did mention that you can use this to start to slowly introduce some flexion into an individual who's flexion intolerant. The only difference is as you come down, is you would allow a little bit of rounding into the low back. So again, you can use the post to help give you a bit of a support, get a bit of that flexion, come out, get some flexion, come out, and bring yourself right back. Really simple, really effective drill. Give it a try and let me know how